Hello, Omar. How was your day? Omar, can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Omar? Good evening. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Hello, hello. Gabriel, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can. Okay, thank God. 
It seems that you had problems to get in. Yes, okay. a little bit. Okay, we are uh, with the quantifiers, okay? Uh, Gabriel, can you read uh, the thought for today? Uh, Steve Jobs, uh, 19... 65 to 2011. Uh, 11. The ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. The ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. That means that uh, if you are crazy enough, you may make changes in the world, okay? And it's not because you are crazy, it's because others think that you are crazy, okay? Now... Crazy to, pro to propose something different. Yes. Like in El Salvador, some people uh, think uh, that what happened in El Salvador and what's the strategy that our president has. And I don't if I don't know if you remember, but I remember because I made it. They play. They uh, they put a website where you can go and write and suggest what do you want for the country. And from all that input, they made a plan Cuscatlán. And everything we, we put there, they actually read it and those ideas are making uh, are putting into what El Salvador is living now. That means that the good thing that they do is that they ask the population, what do we want for El Salvador? And they are making the possible to do it. And why I know that? Because many of the things that they are doing with the uh, jails, with the um, with the way they are uh, working in the government, I wrote it, so I know they read it, because I said that. It is not good that each of the uh, institutions for the uh, governmental institutions work as islands. I suggest that they should work as a, a mechanism so that something that this uh, governmental office do can help this other to go like like a like a clock, okay, like a yeah. mechanism of, from a clock. They are working together with the. Oh. They are and they are doing that. They are yes, working together. Course. So, uh, uh, then they are not wasting resources. They are using the resources in order to uh, work better because everybody is working for a purpose. So, and, and I put it that in, in, in Plan Cuscatlán and they are doing that. And I say, well, good, because it's not only that they ask you what they can do, but they actually read it and put it into practice. And that's what I like. Yes, of course. 
and, and maybe there are some people that don't remember or they don't do it. But when I see that they are doing the things I, I, I ask them to do, I say they are doing something. So if you go and try to do your things your way, it is not the same that you go and ask the people what to do and according to what they say, you work and you do the things. Okay. Yeah. And that's why El Salvador is, is progressing because yeah, it's good. listening to us. And if you notice, they are they, they are always reading social media because there they can find uh, pictures with people that say uh, this this uh, person is doing wrong in in that place, and they go and take them and go to prison. Yeah, as uh, Albert Einstein said, we need changing. We need to do the things differently. Yes, different. If you things. do the things the same way always, you will always when, have We're never changing thing. anything. Uh -huh. So that's why, that's why his party is called Nuevas Ideas, because he's gathering ideas from everybody. Okay, if you notice, for example, uh, Giovanni Galeas, is left hand. Walter Arranjo is right hand. But both of them are happy with nuevas ideas. Because we are not we, we are not taking care of those uh, ideologies from the past. We want to do the, the best for El Salvador no matter what. Yeah. Well, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people talking about their family's size using quantifiers. I will share this again. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcos talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Some people say that the larger your family is, you have more, more people to love and to be loved. But sometimes you receive more love from friends than from family. <laughs> sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Okay, now let me see. Okay. Now, um, listen and repeat. How many brothers and sisters do you have, maybe? How many brothers, How many and, brothers sisters and sisters do you have, do you have okay. Actually, I'm an only child. Actually, Actually I am an only child. Only. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. families in China have only one child. Most, Most families, families in China, China have only one child. Nowadays. Nowadays. I didn't know that. 
that. I didn't know that. Este, do you know what nowadays means? Do you know? Ahora, hoy en día. Hoy en día, exacto. Ok. What about you, Marcos? What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I come from, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Wow, is, is that, that typical, typical in, Peru? in Peru? Not really. No, not really. A lot of families are smaller. A lot of families are smaller these days. These days. But big families are great. But big families are great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Well, about you, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Suleyma? Um, I have uh, one brother and one sister. Okay, then you are three for all. Pobrecito, Hello? hermano. Tiene dos mujeres en contra. Y es el menor. Y es el menor de Ocuar. Pobrecito, no lleva la tegalar para nada. Si lo dejan que se case, la pobre, ah, mujer, la, la pobre mujer va a tener que ser muy inteligente. Okay. Now, Omar, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I, I have two brothers. Two brothers. Then you have three men. Son tres varones. Yes. Nice. I have three sons as well. But I have... From my mother and father, I have only a brother. But from my father, I have another sister and I used to have another brother. But he died the second year of COVID. So when, when they haven't started to give the the vaccines, he died from COVID. And what about you, Gabriel? Well, I have two brothers and two sisters. Two brothers and two sisters, and you? Yeah. So there are three sons and two daughters. Exactly. Excellent. And what about you, Miguel? How many siblings do you have? Disculpa, me acabo de conectar. How many siblings do you have? Siblings is brothers and sisters. Mm. Mm. One brother. Pardon? Solo un hermano. One brother. One brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. And you get along with your brother? Porque su ley ya no dijo que el pobre hermano de él, así que. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I guess that uh, how many years is your your brother younger than you, Suleima? 
Is, um, que ver. Um, three years. Three years. So is your little brother. You take care of he, him. He have, you, have you changed he, his, he his, paper, his pampers? Have you changed no. his pampers? <laughs> no. Solo, solo no, pachales. <laughs> not even closer. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's danger when when somebody else is is changing uh, diapers and you are around you may have problems there <laughs> especially with 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 brothers <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay now uh, we will repeat again because Miguel Antonio having a uh, Listen to it. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Actually, I'm an only child. De aquí quiere decir que es hijo único. Okay? Really? Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And what about you, Marcos? What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great. But big families are great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Now, uh, Gabriel, you are going to be Marcos, and Suleima, you are going to be Meili. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Suleima. Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yes, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. Mm, what about you, Michael? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a you get lot of birthdays present. Okay. Do you know why in China they only have one child? Saben que eh, hay, hay gente que incluso eh, aborta cuando se da cuenta que, que, que están embarazados, que tienen otro. Porque eh, es una forma de, con, de controlar. Eh, go, el, el gobierno ha, ha hecho una ley donde solo pueden tener un hijo cada familia. O sea, de esa forma se están asegurando reducir a la mitad su población. En, en la siguiente generación ¿verdad? pero cuando digamos usted tiene poquita población en un lugar debe de tener por lo menos tres hijos para aumentar porque si solo tienen dos va, va a tener siempre la misma población en la siguiente generación 
¿verdad? Porque son dos padres. Entonces, si usted quiere aumentarla, tienen que ser por lo menos tres. Si usted quiere disminuirla, tienen que ser solo uno. Y si usted quiere mantenerla, tienen que ser dos. Desde que comenzaron bueno, los o sea, esos son números estadísticos se ha visto pero ya de que por ley sea hasta un crimen se podría decir tener de más de, de, de un hijo se está en Chile a que y es que eran bastantes no pero la verdad que, eh, eh, que cuando when, when the eh, when the country is an agricultural country, it is better to have more, more, more eh, children. O sea, cuando es un país de, de agricultura, es mejor tener más hijos, porque hay más, más fuente de, de más manos para trabajar la tierra. ¿Verdad? But if you are not willing to work the land, then it's better to have less children. Okay. And now, Omar, do you want to be Marcos or Meili? Marco. Okay. Miguel, do you want to be Meili? Hey. Okay. How many brother and sister do you have Mary? Actually, I'm an only child. Freddy. Yeah, most family in China have only one child. No way days. Uh, I did not con no, no, that. What about you, Marcos? I come from this family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Whoa, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A uh, lot of families are smaller, say, they, but the family are great because you get lot of greatest presents. Birthday, birthday presents. Birthday presents. Okay. Now, in this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. Okay, these are the quantifiers. All is 100%, nearly, all or almost all, uh, like 90%. Most, like 80%. Many is like 70%. A lot of, like six, some 50. Not many, about uh, 40. A few, 20, few, 10, and no one, zero, okay? Entonces va de todos a ninguno, okay? Hay otros, hay otros, pero estos son como que los más eh, usados. Hay uno que se llama seldom. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, all families have only one child. All families, todas, 100%. Families are smaller these uh, days. Uh, families are smaller these days. Sería a lot of or many families. Okay. Not many couples have more than one child, or a few couples have more than one child. And no one gets married before the age of 18. ¿Verdad? Eso sería lo ideal, pero hay cipotas que, 
que ya no están cipotas a los 18. Entonces, este, antes, en la época como de nuestros abuelos, como que se casaban antes las, las, las bichas, ¿verdad? O se acompañaban antes, se iban antes de las casas. Y en in some countries from the Middle East, they, and from Africa also, they tend to marry uh, very little girls with older men, which I don't think is proper, but is their culture. Okay, quantifiers. Nearly all women work nowadays. Okay. Ese es el quantifier. Nearly all human, plural noun, work nowadays. O sea, almost all the quantifiers are used before a plural noun. Okay. No one gets married before the age of 18, except for no one. So the exception is no one, because no one es ninguno. De ninguno se ocupa como que fuera un singular. Eh, Gabriel, read it, please. <laughs> Quantifiers. We use quantifier when we want to give someone information about the number of something, how much or how many. Thank you, Miguel. Sometimes we use a quantifier in the place of uh, the terminal. Okay, thank you, Omar. Most children start school at the age of five. Okay, thank you. Entonces aquí dice que algunas veces utilizamos un quantifier en el lugar en vez de un determiner. Por ejemplo, aquí en vez de poner the, ch the children. Estamos usando most. Most children. Podríamos haber puesto también some. O podríamos haber puesto few. ¿Verdad? Ahí dependiendo de a qué, a, a qué cantidad nos estemos refiriendo. Eh, Suleima. We ate some bread and butter. Ok. Gabriel. We saw a lot of birds. Excellent. Aquí vamos a hablar sobre los quantifiers with count and uncount nouns. ¿Se acuerdan de los count nouns? ¿Qué eran los count nouns? Eran no, los nombres que eran fáciles de contar. ¿Verdad? Y los uncount nouns eran los que también conocemos como más nouns, que no son fáciles de contar. Entre esos más nouns podemos eh, mencionar, digamos, todos los que son líquidos, los cereales, la arena, o sea, cosas así que, que son como muy menuditos. Entonces, que eh, no es fácil de contar, las estrellas y cosas así, no son fáciles de contar. Entonces, esas son uncount nouns or mass nouns. Entonces, aquí dice, we can use these quantifiers with both count and uncount nouns. Now, repeat, all. 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 Some. 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 Enough. 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 No. 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 Any. 
any, any most, 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 lots of, lots of, lots of less, less. We have lots of time. We have lots of time. Lots of time. Yo has lots of friends. Yo has, has lots, lots of, of friends. friends. I can't go out. I can't, I go, can't out. go out. I got no money. I got, I got no, no money. money. There was a lot of food. There was a lot of food. But no drinks. But, but no, no drinks. drinks. Okay, a lot of food, but no drinks. Okay. These more colloquial forms are also used with both count and uncount nouns. Plenty of, repeat, plenty of. Plenty of, plenty of, heaps of, heaps of, heaps of, a lot of, a lot, a lot of, of, lots of, lots of, of, lot of, tons of, tons of, tons tons of. We have lots of time. We, we have we lots have of time. time. You has plenty of friends. You has plenty, you has plenty of, friends. of friends. There was heaps of food. There, there was, was heaps, heaps of, of food. food. Uh, Gabriel. Song and ending. We do not normally use the quantifier song in negative negative and interrogative sentence. We de normally que no se use... ocupa para las negativas y las interrogativas no ocupamos son. Se ocupa any. ¿Ok? For, ejemplo, for example, do you have any children? Eh, Miguel. Did you have, do you have any children? Did you see any friends? Thank you, Omar. We don't have any children. Suleyma? I didn't see any, any friends. Okay. We saw some lions at the zoo, but we didn't see any tigers. Si se fijan, para afirmativas son y para negativos, any. También para interrogativas. O sea, any lo ocupamos para interrogativas y para negativas, y son lo ocupamos para afirmativas. Some quantifiers can be used only with count nouns. Not many, several, each, both, either, neither, few, fewer. Um, Suleyma. Yes. Sí. Uh, some quantifiers can be used only with un uncount nouns. Um, the more colloquial forms are used only with count nouns. Um, not much. A bit of and a little. Okay. Uh, Would you like yeah. a little wine? Could mm -hmm. I have a bit of butter, please? Okay. Eh, Gabriel. 
this quantifier I use particularly uh, with abstract nouns such as time, money, and travel. Okay. A great deal of, a good deal of. Eh, Miguel. It, it will probably cost a great deal of money. Okay, Omar. It spends a world deal or time watching television. Okay. We put a noun directly after a quantifier when we are talking about members of a group in general. Few snakes are dangerous. Most children like chocolate. I never have enough money. Now, Gabriel. But if we are talking about members of a specific group, we use us the as well. Few, few of the snake in the zoo so are dangerous. Okay, Miguel. Most of the boy at my school play so football. Okay, Omar. Is a spend all of the money that he gave me. Suleiman. Both of the chair in my office are broken. With all and both, we don't need to use up. We can say all the and both the. Okay. Bueno, este. Eh, esto, como esto no es de la plataforma. Mejor vamos a ir a este, contestar lo último que queda para terminar la sección 5. Y así hacemos el examen mañana y terminamos con lo que es este... Con lo que es eh, la plataforma. Y ya nos quedamos solo para el jueves, este, haciendo como refuerzos de otras cosas. Porque este, así cuando ustedes me les revisen el jueves en la mañana ya tienen completado todo. ¿Ok? Now, read the following sentences. Este es el Knowledge Check 5.9. Uh, select the responses with the quantifier closest in meaning. In China, 50% of, of women get married by the age of 22. ¿Cuál sería de estos el que, el que is the closest in meaning? A lot, few, or all? A lot. A lot. A lot, okay. Now, in Australia, 87% of married couples have children. Nearly. Nearly a lot. Nearly all, okay. All. Now, uh, Suleyma, read number three, please. In the United States, um, all persons zero, of the zero, zero percent zero percent of the people born before the age of eighteen. Okay. Um, no one. Okay. Thanks. Now, Gabriel. Uh, 
35% of people in Germany live alone. Okay. Uh, maybe a few. Okay. Now, Miguel Antonio. Percent of American high school students have jobs. Okay. Most American high school students have jobs. Okay. Let's check. Eh, hay una que está mal, uh, pero ese es el que más suena. Vamos a ver con son. Ok, era son. Pero 35, bueno. Ok. Eh, Gabriel, read. Eh, the the number and the answer in china 60 percent of women get married by the age of 22. in china a lot of women get married by the age of 22. okay thank you miguel in australia 87 of married Couples have children. In Australia, nearly a lot married couples have children. Okay, nearly all of married couples. Okay, now number three, Omar. In the United States. Zero percent. Zero percent of all the people born before the age of uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. In the, in the United in the United States, no one but before the age of 18. 18. Okay. Now, Suleyma. Thirty-five percent of the people in Germany live alone. Mm, some people in margin live alone. Germany. 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 Germany live alone okay a uh, 78 percent of american high school students have jobs most american high school students have jobs okay and we continue with the changing family okay it's a reading Read the article, then answer these questions. Write the names of the family members. Type in only the names. Not full sentences are necessary. Do not type a period. Okay? Now, uh, follow the reading. The changing family. Permit. Read the article, then check the questions you think the article will answer. Why do women work outside the home? And what happens when both parents work? ¿Cuál creen que van a, 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 a contestar? Why do women work outside the home? Or what happens when both parents work? ¿Cuál creen que es la respuesta? La, la, o sea, a lo que se va a referir, lo que vamos a leer. Es un guessing. 
uno o dos. No tienen idea. Okay. Now, repeat after me. American families are changing. American families are changing. One important change is that One. most married women One important change One important is change. that most married women now work outside the home. Now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales, Judy and Steve Morales, Steve Morales have three children. Have three children. Josh, 12. Just 12. Ben, 9. Ben, 9. And Emily, 6. Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again. As a hospital administrator. As, as a, a hospital, hospital administrator. administrator. The family needs the money. The, the family, family needs, needs the, money. the money. And Jody likes her job. And Jody likes, likes her, her job. Her job. Mm -hmm. Everything is going well. Everything, Everything is going well. well. But there are also some problems. But there, but are, there are also some problems. some problems. Now that Judy is working. Now, now that Judy, Judy is working, working. Steve has to help her more. Steve, Steve has, has to help her, her more, more. With the housework. With, with the, the housework. housework. He doesn't enjoy it. He, he doesn't, doesn't enjoy, enjoy it. it. Jody loves her work. Jody loves, loves her work. work. But she feels too tired and busy. But, but she, she feels too tired, tired and, and, and busy. She also worries about the children. She also, she worries, also worries about, about the, children. the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays. Judy has, has to work on, on Saturday. Saturday. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time. Emily, Emily is having a great, a great time, time. Great time. in her after school program. In her after school program. When Jody comes to pick her up, when, when Jody, Jody comes, comes to pick her up, to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. She doesn't, she doesn't want, to want to leave. leave. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Ben's school, Ben's ben school, school doesn't have an after-school program. Doesn't have an after-school after program. program. Right now, right now, right now, he's now. spending most afternoons in front of the TV. He's spending most afternoon in front of the TV. George is enjoying his new freedom. George, George is enjoying his new freedom. After school. After school. 
He's playing his music louder. He's playing, He's playing his music, music louder. louder. And spending more time on the phone. And spending, spending more, time more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay, it's already 10 to. Do you want to answer this or we leave it for tomorrow? ¿Quieren responderlo o lo dejamos para mañana? Respondámoslo. Ya, yeah. ok. Respondamos. Entonces, which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily and Joyce. Emily and Joyce. Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Emily. Okay. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. Okay. Which family member members are doing more housework? Steven. And Josh. Steven Joyce. Which family member feels too busy? Judy. 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 Excellent. Yes. Congratulations. Okay. With this, we finish section five. Okay. And we are having a, for tomorrow the final test. Okay. Mañana vamos a hacer el examen final. Please try to, co to come early. Okay, because we have a listening first and all of us has to be here in order to listen. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you Please tomorrow. Uh, work on your platform. Uh, try to finish it as soon as possible. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.